Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador at the University of Technology, Jamaica. Today, we'll be looking at uh, Cape Applied Mathematics Unit 2 question in Module 1 of the syllabus, which is Discrete Mathematics. All right, we're focusing on Logic and Boolean Algebra. And this is a 2015 past paper question. It says we are to write a Boolean expression for the following circuit. Okay, so let us get right into it. Okay, so let's look at B. Let's start off with B first. B is going through this gate, which is the not gate, right? So when B goes through this gate, it means that the output here is going to be not B, right? And C is going through this gate here, and not B is also going through this same gate, which is the AND gate, all right? So when not B and C goes through this AND gate, we will have the output as not B and C, all right? I hope you can see that. Now let's look at A. A, goes through this gate here, and also not B and C goes through this gate, right? This is what we call the OR gate. So when A and not B and C goes through the OR gate, we will get the output as A, all right? We will get the output as A or not B and C, okay? That is what we have. Please ensure to use your brackets because the brackets are very important. Okay, now let's look at B. B goes through this gate here, right? And also A or not B and C also goes through this gate. This is the AND gate. So when both of those go through the AND gate, our output is going to be A or not B and C, right? And so all of this and B, okay? Please ensure to use your brackets. The brackets are extremely important, all right? So that is the answer for this past paper question. Let's just write a final statement here. All right, we're just gonna write a final statement here and say, therefore, so therefore, the Boolean expression, therefore, the Boolean expression, all right, for the circuit above, For the circuit above, let me just write that properly, is, that's going to be A or not B and C, all right? So all of that and B, okay? That is our solution to this past paper question. All right, so I hope that was helpful. As a matter of fact, this question was difficult for students doing the 2015 examination. All right, I hope it was not difficult for you as we went through it, okay? So if this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like this video, all right? Subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador at the university of Technology Jamaica and Mathematics Teacher and Training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.